Turning now to your forecast, skies are calm and clear tonight, but looking ahead to tomorrow night, the skies will be lit up. Yeah, a rare meteor shower is expected to fly across the night sky. Brad Panovich standing by tonight. Brad, will we be able to see it here? Well, the question is twofold. Will the weather cooperate? And secondly, there's a small chance we might not see anything at all. This is kind of a bang or bust kind of setup. The first part's the weather part. We got to have clear skies, and the good news is we only need a small window to see this tomorrow. So we've got some high clouds tonight. This certainly, if we had the same kind of setup tomorrow, Tomorrow, this would be fine, but there's two systems heading our way. One here is really the first system, which is going to head our way for Friday. The next one is going to be Saturday. So the Friday one's more of a troublesome because it could produce some clouds moving in our direction. But the reason this is such an interesting what we call meteor burst, it's not a, a week of meteor showers where it peaks on one night and you see maybe 10 or 20 an hour. There's a possibility coming up tomorrow at about 1150, which is plus or minus 30 minutes. So there's just a 30 minute window on either side of that time that we could go through a very narrow band of debris from a, an old comet that would produce a burst of meteors, maybe up to 400 in that time period. So there's a chance we miss that little tail though, and we don't see anything at all. But the thing I like about this is it's only, only going to take 30 minutes of your time. So if you don't see anything, you only wasted 30 minutes. But if you're out there, you might see something absolutely spectacular. 1150 PM. So I would go out there around 1130 ish right after you watch the news till about midnight. Look in the east southeast sky, very low on the horizon. We should be OK, but notice the farther west you go, there's more cloud cover. So further east, you're going to have a better look. And that's good that the clouds are off to the west because we'll be looking east into clear 